So what's it like to live in downtown Virginia Beach or is there a downtown Virginia Beach? Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, the Living in Coastal Virginia channel, where we talk everything live, work, play in the coastal Virginia area. That's Norfolk, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, and the surrounding cities. If you're new here, uh, that's, that's what we do. And if you do me a huge favor at the end of this, if you would like the video, if you like it, and if you consider subscribing down at the very end, uh, we release new content on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, and as much as I love making these videos, I love more to serve you and your family's real estate needs. I work on the real estate side, my wife works on the mortgage side, and we'll help make that transition in or out of the area as smooth and easy as possible. Are you here to learn about what is downtown living or is there a downtown Virginia Beach? And what does that look like? So if you wanna live in a downtown atmosphere in Virginia Beach, right? There's not really a, a big one, but this is about four to five blocks of about as downtown as it's ever gonna feel. And this is a really central location. We're, we're located right at the corner of uh, Independence Boulevard and Virginia Beach Boulevard, which is in the north central part of Virginia Beach. Uh, most people, if they wanna live really downtown, they go down to Norfolk. But if you want to be 15 minutes from the beach, whether that's Chick's Beach or 15 minutes from the oceanfront, or 20 minutes to Norfolk International Airport, uh, 20 minutes to say Botanical Gardens or the zoo, uh, or even maybe even going out to uh, skydiving, uh, indoor skydiving down at the oceanfront. So we're gonna cover things like nightlife, bars, what to eat, what's nearby, what do you have access to? Can you walk to everything? We're gonna cover all that and more moving forward here. As I'm sure Sean will show you here in the B-roll, you know, we've got lots of cars going back and forth. This is kind of, it feels like a city, it feels like it's bustling. Uh, I actually happened to run into one of my really good friends I went to school with, Sally, who's off camera. Hi, Sally. <laughs> and she's gonna uh, give us like the inside scoop of uh, what it's just like. She's lived here now five years? Yeah. Okay, yeah, five years. And um, so with, uh, with living in the downtown area, What's it like? You can come over if you want. You can come into the camera. <laughs> this is my friend Sally. Hi. We framed in Sean. Cool. What's it? What's it like living here in the downtown? You say you walk everywhere. So give us the inside scoop. What's it I been do. Like? It definitely has the nice city feel without you know too much of the population that you usually see in cities like if you're in DC or New York. Yeah. Uh, but there's a grocery store across the street. There's Target. There's... You got the Wegmans, which is yes. like a, a bonus. That, that's even better than a grocery store. Yes. Can you said the gym um, is right down the street too? Yes, there's um, rock climbing and okay. also like they do you know regular classes at the gym and then you have of course your coffee shops and uh, pottery barn and really everything that you would need in you know in a city that you could spend a day to or even like a weekend here where you really don't have to get out of this area. Yeah. You just walk everywhere. So we're gonna cover a little bit more about like housing in just a minute, but what um what if, what are you paying for a two bedroom apartment right now? Right now, it's a little over two. Okay. Um, that's usually what it goes for. Okay. Um, and it, but it's we a, have a new pool. Yep. And a gym inside. Yes. How's the view? It's wonderful. Okay. Can you actually? I do. I do say that I do actually overlook where I work at. So okay. I also work here, live here, do everything here. Yeah, yeah. So I get the full city, you know, feel. You get the view, and they also have stuff that they do out here at the fountain. So. Yeah. How's parking? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's free. free, right? It's free. Okay, do you have a designated parking spot for you? You like, can reserve if you want to, but there really is no need for you to do so. I mean, there's a lot of them with, where you have it at Cosmo, but then you also have it at Encore. Like, almost every single apartment does have it, except for Premier. Yeah. But, I mean, there's so much parking here that that's not even a problem. I never really had to be like, there's no parking, I have to go somewhere else. Now, I've been told that they do concerts here locally in the, the yes. square. Yeah. And um, what's it called? Why Not Wednesdays or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Have so you ever it's gone a to those? Thing. I have. Okay. It's actually really nice. A lot of people come out there. And it's completely um, free, too, right? Yes. Yeah. And then they have some vendors, you know, of course, you know, pizza. You've been here for six years. What are the best places to go to eat here? Bravo. Okay. Yes, I am biased to Bravo because it's a wonderful Italian. They have one of the best tiramisu I've ever had. Yeah. You've been to Cabo? Um, I have. Yeah. 
I call it the uh, Mediterranean Chipotle. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it is. It's like on the healthier side of things. Yeah. You know, you're oh, kind of like, though. yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And then there's yeah, a if you need like a vegetarian option, they have a really good like mix there. Mm -hmm. They also have chicken as well, but like if you want like a phenomenal like bowl of just goodness, yeah. Kava's where you go. As my friend Miss Sally was mentioning, they do have uh, plenty of events that go on here free that's supported by the local businesses. One of those is movie nights for families. Starts around 8.30, they play things like Moana, Shrek, uh, Cars, and uh, Up. Though I'm not sure you would wanna play Up because every single time I see that, I cry multiple times. So a little bit more like entertainment and nightlife. Uh, I think I mentioned if not already, we have the Funny Bone, which is a comedy club. Uh, there's a, a theater local that puts on local plays and uh, other comedy sketches. Uh, Apex, which is an 85,000 square foot um, entertainment area. They have things like go-karting, ax throwing, bowling, laser tag, mini golf, escape rooms, uh, and a ropes course, uh, along with an arcade, all in the same building. So uh, if you have that adult kid thing going on and you want a, one place to kind of do it all and exhaust yourself, uh, they have a great restaurant and drinks over there as well to go entertain yourself with. Other bars or nightclub is going to be, uh, you have Yard House right down the street, which makes a tremendous old fashioned. You've got the Keegan's Irish Club uh, right down the street, uh, which is an Irish bar that you'll have access to and is absolutely phenomenal. I'll go for it. Hold on, let me show There's all this room back here. <laughs> There's le Are you recording still? Yeah. There's legit 15, 20 feet behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you decided to walk in front of us. That's hilarious. Oh, so good. Uh, right around the corner, you have Muse uh, Paint Bar, which is a place that you can go. Uh, they call it the uh, Premier Paint and Sip area, which means you can go in there and they do uh, basically a paint club. Someone teaches you how to paint a certain piece of art and you can order some wine or some drinks while you're doing that along with some food, which is such a cool experience. A few other notable mentions when it comes to food that uh, Sally and I didn't cover are going to be Tupelo Honey, which is right around the corner. Uh, I think I mentioned Ruth Chris Steakhouse uh, right up here to my left. Cantina Laredo, which is a gourmet Mexican food place. Um, I've been there once with my wife. Absolutely fantastic Cut tacos if you want to go check that out. But right around the corner is La Maya's Crepes, a whole place dedicated to crepes, which is amazing, right? Earlier with Sally, we mentioned a place to go and get groceries, which is Wegmans. People absolutely love that place, but you've also got Food Lion, Walmart, Target, which also have grocery stores, as well as the Fresh Market, which is kind of an upscale place to go and get luxury items. When it comes to shopping, you've got Anthropology, Ann Taylor, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Brooks Brothers for your you know, fancy men's store. You've got Lululemon Pottery Barn. Uh, right over here, you've got William and Sonoma. Um, so your luxury kitchen item goods. Uh, of course, you've got uh, right across the street from Town Center, you have the Pembroke Mall, which has tons of shopping options. Uh, and then one of my favorite stores in the area, REI, which is just across the street for those outdoor uh, gear. So tents and poles and hiking gear and that more like. If you want to live in Town Center and, uh, you know, granted you don't have a town or, or excuse me, a, a backyard. Uh, so if you have the dog, they also have a doggy daycare located right here in Town Center called Dogtopia, which has uh, daycare 325 year round. Uh, so if you have to go on vacation, it's a great place. They even have a webcam installed inside so you can keep the tabs on that little puppy of yours. <laughs> Let's talk real quick about apartments and housing. Uh, so when apartments, there's plenty of options here. Most of the places have a pool or a gym with access um, and have private parking. Uh, like I mentioned earlier about parking, you have 24-7 uh, parking everywhere in the area, which is absolutely free. Uh, most apartments are gonna be anywhere between one and three bedrooms, one and three baths. It's gonna start right around $1,500 and go all the way up a little bit over 3,000, depending on the amount of luxury and space that you want. The three main options that you're gonna have are the Cosmopolitan, the Premier, and the Encore 5505 are your three main options for apartments in the area. Uh, if you're making, looking at making a purchase in Town Center, there's really only two condo buildings you have available to you. One is the Westin that's right behind Sean, and then over his left shoulder is uh, Studio 56. Now, Studio 56 is only loft, so one bedroom, one bath, uh, open you know, ceiling feeling with the uh, corrugated steel HVAC equipment. Um, so big open feeling. Um, and a decent amount of space. I don't think they go over 900 square feet if I remember correctly, but if you want some high-end luxury living, the West End right behind us has anything from one bedrooms all the way up to four bedroom and three bath. I think I saw one in there as a three bedroom, four and a half bath, 
um, over a million dollars uh, with about, mm, I think I remember, a little over 3,000 square feet. So you can get a ton of space in the area if that's something that you're looking for. Obviously, if you are not wanting to live just right here in town center, but you want really close access to all of this, uh, within about a mile, there are several different options. You've got Pocahontas, Athalia, and uh, Aragona, Aragona, I think Village, are the three uh, that are available right here surrounding the area. Um, the average is gonna be probably um, for condos, is gonna be three bedroom, two and a half bath, starting in the 250 going up to 350. Um, 350,000 and then for single family if you want a little bit of yard but still access to all of this uh, you're gonna be starting kind of in the averages of 300 four bedroom two and a half bath going all the way up to 500,000 and still you'll be pretty close you know um, in some of those spots you actually still might be able to walk uh, but in most cases you're probably gonna want to grab a lime scooter or uber over here um, or to, you know drive like I said there's free parking on occasion, like when Sean and I were trying to find a parking spot, it did take us about five minutes because I wanted a preferred parking spot, so I had to drive around a little bit. But the parking garages here are absolutely excellent. There's tons of spots. I've never actually been to Town Center and not found a, a spot to park. So they're really the only downsides, right? and this is gonna be true with anything that has to do with in a downtown feeling, is going to be noise or crowdedness uh, when it comes to living in a place just like Town Center. Um, the crime that which is reported here is mostly petty theft and larceny. There's a, a few things like shoplifting, but when you actually check the record, and Sean's gonna put up something here with truly a crime map, um, that's all we really see. So I've never been here, whether it's super late at night or early in the morning, it felt unsafe. Um, this area is absolutely fantastic. And if you want, again, that feeling of something that's downtown, highly walkable, everywhere that you can go, this is a great spot to do that in. So just a quick recap, if you want a downtown feel, right, and you want high walkability. Um, you know, again, my friend Sally said that she basically walks everywhere, including Wegmans and including, including across the street for the gym. Um, this is a fantastic spot to live if you want a downtown feel. Uh, and there's plenty of options. The only time that you would ever need to drive is to go to the airport or go downtown. Um, I do think, my heart, uh, I think, and Sean would agree with me, that the food options in Norfolk are slightly better um, and a little bit more variability there. But uh, Town Center, for what it is, is a fantastic place to live. You should definitely consider it. Hey, and as much as I like making this content, I'd love to serve you and your real estate needs, whether that's moving in or out of the area, buying investment property, refinancing. We have a team that handles that all. I work on the real estate side, my wife works on the mortgage side, um, and we'd love to serve you and your family. Uh, we release new content on Mondays and Fridays, so if you consider subscribing, we'd appreciate that. And if I've earned it here at the very end, hit that little like button, let's the algorithms know that I'm doing something right. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Yeah.